Hi, I'm Jeff. This is Tropical Plants at 53 degrees north. And today we're going to have a look at another new piece of kit uh, in my attempt to try and create a tropical greenhouse and the conditions that's needed for these plants to thrive. So I'll just flick you around and let's have a look at what we've bought. Right, so this is a Technoline Mobile Alerts. I don't really know what it's called, a, a start set. Uh, I think that's the, that's the model number, MA. 1001 set. Uh, temperature check. It's obviously made in all sorts of different languages. So basically what you get is this little thing here which is the sensor. You place that where you want it. In my case of course it's going to be in the greenhouse. And these are only small. I'll show you in a minute. This thing I've got uh, attached to the router in the house. Um, now that these days, I mean, I've got a Sky router, and they don't give you many sockets for a, like a data cable to plug into. I think I've already I'd already used the two or three that you were given, so I've got like an, another additional little. It's kind of, I don't know what the name for it, but it's like a like a splitter, so it has like four or five sockets for a data cable to go into. So this attaches to a data cable, which then goes directly into your router or in my case via a little splitter and then into the router. Uh, this also has a power cord which then plugs into a socket um, and then you can have as many of these as you want. It was dead dead easy to set up, took a few seconds and it seems to be working really well. I'll just show you this little bit here. I've got this over here I've got two of them actually. This was the original Bluetooth one I had, but that was no good when I went anywhere. Oops, Daisy. <laughs> when I went anywhere away from the house, because obviously Bluetooth, you know, doesn't work away from the house. So that is attached to another uh, another unit like that, or put it in the bedroom, which which gives the readout of what the temperature is here. And that one attaches to the one that I've just connected to my router in the house. So that means that wherever I am, I have an app, uh, wherever I'm in the world, uh, if there's anything I can do about it, I don't know, but wherever I am in the world, I can find out what the temperature is in the greenhouse. Um, the One of the things that was a, you know, quite a, an advantage to it in, my, in what I was looking for in my case was that on the app, it has alerts as well so you can set like a temperature range so I can have I, I don't want it to go below 10 so if it goes below 10 I know there's something going wrong with the heating or the electricity's off um, that's just actually raised a little point in my head if the electricity does go off then I guess the router going into the house will also go off so I guess I won't get an alert. Well, that's just completely ruined my entire theory of how I was going to set this up. Um, <laughs> oh well, I don't know, maybe, maybe the router has a backup battery. I don't know, we'll just have to see and hope that never happens. Um, but it, I mean, it, it will at least tell me what the temperature is and I'll know what the range is. Um, you, you try and think of these things, but you know, you never think of everything. Um, and it's useful because you can get as many of these as you want and attach them. Um, they're not that expensive. This whole thing was, I think it was 56. I have seen it cheaper. Um, anyway, 56, that's what it cost me. I was going to show you the app and show you how, how good it was to use and how simple it was. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't factor in uh, the fact that I'm filming it on my phone. So I can't film my phone while I'm using it to film. Uh, yeah. It's all going wrong today. So anyway, that's my latest little gadget. So that should help me in, in my quest. Um, this was the next step along the lines of creating some kind of backup for the greenhouse. So my next step, when I can afford it, is to buy one of these gas heaters and uh, I'm gonna need the, the, the propane gas bottle and then I'll be able to make sure that I've always got some heat even if the electricity goes off. Um, and I just have to hope that somehow it alerts me uh, whether or not the router's on or not. I suppose if the greenhouse electricity goes off, I'll know. Um, but well, you know, you can't you can't factor in every single everything, can you really? So that's it. Just a very quick one. Just wanted you to see that. Um, 
There are a few changes I'm not going to show you just yet. Uh, I might just do a little peek. The Hoyer is now floating. Uh, it's not all trussed up. I think it actually looks better. I think it probably needs to, to droop a little bit more to get the best out of it, but I actually prefer it like that. I'm not quite sure why I uh, tried to train it along the greenhouse in the first place. I quite like it dangling like that. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I will see you on the next one. Bye. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.